Oh, my name is Rick, and I am a certified master sales consultant with Toyota here at Schottenkirk in Quincy, Illinois, right next to Walmart. It's, uh, it's a great day here, nice and cold, so we're going to talk a little bit about this 2011 Toyota Highlander. It is a V6 all-wheel drive, seven-passenger family vehicle that is extremely dis difficult to beat. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, it has no peer because it actually sets the benchmark when it comes to family SUVs. And you'll see why here. Let's get started. Underneath here we've got the 3.5 liter V6. This is a six cylinder automatic transmission, six speed automatic actually. It has uh, four valves per cylinder which equates to 24. It has variable valve timing, actually dual variable valve timing with intelligence. The vehicle is extremely powerful and yet very, very economical due to the VVTI, which is uh, state of the art. Um, everything under here is uh, very easy to maintain. It's all right up front. It's, uh, like I say, it's, it's all we can do anymore with these things is check the fluids and make sure they're full. And sort of makes that very easy for us. One thing about the, uh, the front end of this thing is they've got this ABS brake controller here. Uh, you can see all these tubes coming in and out of it. Basically, that's the heart of the star safety system. Toyota has developed this, uh, what they call the, uh, yeah, <laughs> I've really, this is the second time today I've, I've stumbled on this. It's called the uh, Accident Avoidance Technologies, and that's exactly what they do. They help to try to prevent you from getting into an accident. Uh, the six points of that star are ABS. Brake Assist, Electronic Brake Force Distribution, Traction Control, Stability Programming, and Smart Stop Technology. All active safety systems to help you navigate the roads and try to prevent you from having an accident. And there's a whole myriad of uh, passive safety features that help protect you when you do get into an accident. But Toyota would rather you not get into an accident. Uh, that's why they have these uh, the star safety system and these accident avoidance technologies. Um, this particular unit is uh, fairly basic, although extremely well equipped. As you can see up front, it's got the uh, very aggressive uh, grill. Uh, it kind of runs in the family. It's very uh, uh, genetic when it comes to Toyota. The uh, side of the vehicle here, as you can see, it comes with alloy wheels. The vehicle is designed with some massive brake rotors that actually help stop the vehicle much better. They're all vented to help uh, cool the brakes, obviously, because uh, the cooler the brakes, the less brake fade you're ever going to have. The, uh, the vehicle comes with side impact door beams, which makes the whole side much stronger. We talked a little bit about uh, crumple zones up front. They're actually made to help absorb and disperse the energy of an accident and uh, cause that energy to go around the passenger compartment, making the vehicle much safer. Let's take a look inside here real quick. We're not going to spend a whole lot of time here because we're going to go for a ride here in a little bit. But you can see the vehicle is still rather nicely equipped and uh, obviously very comfortable. Uh, the door opens very wide so you can get in and out of it nice and easy. Let's go to the back here. This is where the family part of this family SUV comes in. Once again, the door opens very wide, about 85 degrees. The uh, the rear seat area is where this vehicle still shines uh, a lot. Uh, both second row seats are adjustable, which means that when you're in the rear of the vehicle, in the third row, you actually have the ability to create more room in the back should you need it. And you'll see here that I've got an amazing amount of room right here right now. But if I pull this seat forward, I still, with this seat all the way forward, am very comfortable. I'm not cramped. I don't feel like I uh, won't be able to ride for a couple hours to uh, the, you know, the nearest town for a sporting event or something. So, that being said, as an SUV, obviously the utility of the SUV comes into play here. When you have this seat down, you can see in there that it uh, is a, a very roomy interior for the extra cargo that you might need. Of course, uh, it has a split vent seat and also comes with a removable center seat which creates the seventh room for the seventh passenger. 
That folds back up nice and neat like that. Let's look at the, uh, the back of the vehicle real quick. It has quite a bit of room and you'll see that this is where uh, a very large amount of area comes in handy when you have a large equipment that you want to load. This vehicle comes with the embroidered floor mats, cargo mat, and uh, you'll be able to see here's still quite a bit of storage underneath here. Uh, well, this is where you have your tools at. Uh, Storage-wise, I guess, I guess not. But anyway, uh, if this was a five-passenger, this is where I'm getting my room at. Uh, you would have a uh, quite a bit of storage there. Just toss these aside real quick and kind of show you here. I showed you how to lay that seat forward uh, earlier. Uh, the, the nice thing about this is, is this is the third row seat. It folds absolutely flat inside the vehicle, which is very, very nice. To get these up, basically, that's all you got to do. That pops up, and uh, when you want to put it back down, all you've got to do is fold that back down. Oh, sorry. Put it back down. It's that simple. It really is. I'm going to fold this back up just for fun because I'm going to show you uh, the amount of room and everything in the back once put that right in there. Nobody will know uh, what's going to happen when we get over here to the side. The side over here is where, uh, you'll notice too in the back here while we're here, we've got the privacy glass, the rear window wiper uh, and washer, defogger. We've got a nice uh, little spoiler here with the high mount of stoplight, very, very visible. Um, in the back here, we've got the four-wheel drive uh, insignia, which means that, obviously, the vehicle is... Uh, it's actually front-wheel drive until... Oh, yeah, sorry about that. Uh, this We're right in the service drive, and uh, sometimes things like that happen. But anyway, I just want to, while we're here, I need to put these mats back in here because... When you come in and buy this, you're going to want the mats. Alright. Perfect. Now, let's show you how this uh, whole back end thing works here. Like I say, this is where I think this vehicle shines because there's a huge amount of room here if you don't need the third row seat. And there's still an adequate amount of room here if, in fact, you need to use the third row seat. So, this is all you do to get this seat forward. And as you can see from here, take a look in there. There's, uh, it's really easy to get in and out. Nice little step here. And still quite a bit of room here in the back for the passenger in the third row. So very well thought out, very roomy, very, very convenient for small families. Or even for large families because it is a seven passenger vehicle. Take a look right inside there real quick, Will. There is your heat control for the rear area. So that's very convenient. Uh, and very comfortable for all your third row passengers. The uh, vehicle, like I say, tons and tons of exterior features. The vehicle is uh, very well equipped. We're going to talk about uh, some of that stuff inside of this area in a few short minutes when we go out and take a ride. But uh, and, and that too is an area where this vehicle is, is it shines and, and has uh, no other peer because. Dang, this thing is nice. Uh, come on in, let's go for a ride, and we will uh, talk about everything else. All right? All right.